Lucas. The water I give will be like a spring, gushing fountains of endless life. Go and call your husband, and then come back here. Sir, I have no husband. I have no husband. You've had five husbands, and the man you're living with now isn't even your husband. I have no husband. That's true enough. It's as if the teachings of the Sermon on the Mount are being made real by the love that Christ has for people, which breaks barriers down and brings friendship where once there was hostility. Who am I? You are the Christ, the Messiah. But the time is not yet ripe. It is necessary for the Son of Man to face an ordeal of suffering, to be put on trial. It is necessary for the Son of Man to be found guilty by the religious leaders. It is necessary for me to be killed. But, but on the third day I will rise up again and live. That can never be! Peter, get out of my way! You Satan, get away from me! You have no idea how God works. Don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Follow me and I will show you how. Well, Good Friday was the day when Christ was crucified, when he was executed. In fact, they took him out and fastened him to the cross at nine o'clock in the morning. And at midday, 12 o'clock, the, the sky went dark. And so we chose to start our passion play at midday. Very early in the morning, at about half past seven, I walked through the streets, they were quiet. There was a stillness, and there was a, a wonderful kind of sense of expectation and a lot of apprehension as well. One of the things we did, as we'd done at all the rehearsals, was to start with a moment of prayer. Any, any sort of performance piece, but certainly a Christian piece, you need to, to come before God, to give yourself over to God. Um, if I take it on my own shoulders, I always feel it will, it will fall flat. You need to say, God, this is yours, and you know, I'm yours, please you know, use me now. And then we started walking out, and then the rain came down, and I thought, hey, we were all going to go home. And they didn't, and they stayed. And it was golf smacking. They just stayed the grandmas and the children and the mums and the dads and they kept coming and the rain kept coming and Matthew kept preaching and everybody kept going and it was like that was the launch into a different dimension of the whole play I think. Apart from the fact that everyone was putting up their umbrellas and the noise of the rain on the umbrellas and a complete stranger offered to share his umbrella with me because I hadn't got one. I was soaking wet by then. I think that the fact that everyone was huddled there under um, uh, umbrellas and uh, braving it out, you know, sort of gave us strength to go on with it. The time has come for the Son of Man to be lifted up and glorified. Right. Listen carefully. Unless a grain of wheat is buried in the ground, dead to the world, it is never any more than a grain of wheat. There in Cheltenham's International Friendship but Park, we told it, the story of Christ's buried. love for people, his willingness and, and desire to break barriers down between men and, and women, between itself. people of different races, and to enable Many people to be friends over. together and friends together with God as well. In the same way, anyone who holds on to life just as it is, destroys that life. But if you let it go, you will have it forever, real and eternal. If any of you wants to serve me, then follow me. Jesus, just as you said, a donkey. Look, our king, there he goes, poised and ready mounted on a donkey. Hosanna! Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest!
Yes! It was very, very interesting indeed to find myself playing a religious leader who was also the bad guy in the performance. And actually it made you think about um, the place of a religious leader and the potential for both good and evil. If they kept quiet, the stones themselves would shout and sing! Oh, yeah! Be still! Jesus had, had reached the gates of, of Jerusalem and uh, was, was himself saying, I am the gate. You, you know, you have to come through me if you, if you want to obviously live the, the better life, the better way. And there's a wonderfully powerful moment when everyone and simply has to follow you. Christ through the gateway and into the town if as if they are taking the seriously his words, peace. I am the door and they enter through him. But now, it's too late. This is where the trouble begins, as soon as we go through these gates. So, you know, follow me, but know what we're, we're going into. As you have the light, believe in the light, then the light will be within you and shining through your lives. You will be children of light. If anyone wants to serve me, then follow me. I am the gate. Anyone who goes through me will be cared for. 